I was going to ask you to talk a little bit more about the innovation cycle. I think there's three anchors that you've... Yeah, the innovation cycle, the way we do it, it's, it's um, you know, all, all day long we learn and we toggle between being in the concrete world and being in our heads in the abstract world. And we toggle between doing analysis work. I like to think about that as the asking why mm -hmm. and asking how. So now I have a two by two, right? In the concrete world of asking why, I observe and I notice, I'm, I, which I don't do very well if I'm walking with my cell phone, but that's, a, right? So I pay attention to what's going on in the, in the world around me. That's just being present with other people and their lives, whether they are my employees or whether they're my customers, right? Then I have all this data that I've just entered into my mind. So I have to step back and sort of get to the why. What are the interesting patterns? What have I really noticed? Mm -hmm. Have I gotten underneath the dynamics of what's going on? And that leads to the frame of a problem. Mm -hmm. Parents are concerned about toilet training. That came of, from hanging out with parents. And as, as they finish the interview, parents would go, oh, can I just tell you one more thing? My neighbor keeps coming over and saying, oh, is your child still in diapers? You know, break my heart. So, so that observation led to a frame that I, could, that I could work with parents on toilet training, right? Mm -hmm. That's all the why side. Mm -hmm. The other side, now I have to say, well, what ideas do I have mm -hmm. to, to deal with parents and toilet training? So that's diverging, converging. I'm coming up with ideas, but those are all still in my head. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us in the academic world, we live in our heads all the time. I can blah, blah, blah about those ideas, as they say, till the cows come home, right? I can go on, but at some point I have to make them real. So I have this idea I could do a different kind of diver. Well, why don't you go make one? So I can make, you know, a Huggies pull up or I can go design a service. Right? So that's the innovation cycle um, that we talk about, which really comes out of the learning literature and, and is, is the same cycle as the scientific method and it's the same cycle as um, quality management, but design thinking is sort of the new way to, to bring it alive. Is, is the end result then a transformative sort of experience or if, is that the goal? If you are paying enough attention when you're observing and noticing to get to um, a deeper understanding of people beyond um, they like a pink button more than they like a purple button, but if you're getting to young parents are really nervous about toilet training, then I can put a frame around a problem that potentially leads me to transformation mm -hmm. um, level solutions. Mm -hmm. So I'm paying attention to the entire customer experience at Apple, not just here's the product, right. but here's, you can come in our stores and you can just play. Yeah. I won't try to sell you, you can just play. That's, that's an experience, right? That's noticing what people do and don't like when they go into stores, right? So I frame the problem around education rather than promotion. Mm -hmm. That's a different problem frame. Then I design a store that, that allows for that kind of engagement.